Good afternoon. This is Larry Tentarelli with today's edition of Your Daily Five for StockCharts.com. What I've brought with me today is five charts that are high of interest and top on my watch list. So we'll get started with a brief introduction. My website is bluechipdaily.com. You can find me on Twitter at LMT978. Our website is bluechipdaily.com uh, if you want to find me online. And then we'll go into the five charts for today's video. So I brought with me five charts that I, I think are set up well, exactly where they are. One, we might need a little bit of a pullback, but we'll get started with NVIDIA. So NVIDIA is one of the strongest stocks that's on my screen. I'm a trend follower. So what we'll see on the chart is number one, NVIDIA is in the upper right-hand corner of the screen, which shows it's in a longer-term uptrend. Right now, it's trading over four rising moving averages, 20, 50, 100, 200 day. On Monday, it had a very high volume breakout. If we go down and take a look at the volume bar, had a very high volume breakout to a new 52 week high, which is a bullish technical signal. Now, over the last few days, it had lower volume pullback days. So, AMD missed on their earnings, Qualcomm missed on their earnings. Uh, and then yesterday, AMD announced a partnership with Microsoft. So, that put some short term pressure on NVIDIA. It pulled back on lower volume versus the breakout day. And now we see today it started to resume its upward trend. And if NVIDIA closes today where it's trading right now, then that would be a, a new 52-week weekly closing high, which would be a bullish signal. In the near term, NVIDIA has key support in the 260 range. We can see 263. 262, 262, they all held over 260. This held over 260 on a closing basis. And what I really like to see is this rising 50-day moving average uptrend is also coming over that 260 support level. So I am a believer that moving averages do provide trend support. So I like to see this 50-day coming up over the support range. So set up very well exactly where it is. And if it can close over 290 shortly, then that could open up the chart to possibly 300, 310 or higher. So the next chart on the screen, and I do have to say, I do have a long position in NVIDIA. So the next chart on the screen is my second favorite chart in tech, and, and it's Microsoft. And my view often, is we don't need to reinvent the wheel. So what I mean by that is NVIDIA has been a leader for a while. They're number one in their field. Microsoft obviously has been a leader for a while. They're number one in their field. And if we take a look at the chart, we'll see the same, same pattern. Upper right-hand corner uptrend trading over four rising moving averages. Microsoft recently made a 52-week high. And if we just take a look overall, we can see it had a nice gap after earnings. And the stock is actually not only gapped higher and followed through afterwards, but it's also consolidating over 300 to 305. The rising 20-day has come up through this price gap but really, 292 was key resistance for Microsoft. We can see 292 was the August high. 292 was the recent April high. It pulled back to the 50-day, very constructive, held over the 50-day, big gap higher. And, and what we see with Microsoft is if this can close over 310, then that could also open up this chart to higher. And Microsoft and NVIDIA are really the two major artificial intelligence large cap stock leaders. And AI, obviously, it's a very popular theme in the markets right now. But one of the, one of the key things about AI 
is these companies are are profiting from AI right now. So this is not a five year out story or a 10 year out story. This this is money that's that's coming into these companies right now. So those are the two top tech charts on my screen. Now we're going to move into a totally different market and and I cover all the markets. So I cover the the core macro markets, commodities, precious metals, I cover all large cap stocks, all, all S&P sectors and and as a trend follower I go where the trends take me. So GLD gold is the gold ETF. So we're going to see the same thing. And as I go through my five charts, you're going to see a recurring theme. Upper right-hand corner breakout recently tested a new 52-week high yesterday. Pulled back today on the jobs data. The markets are still very choppy whenever we get new economic data, new earnings data, but we're going to see over four rising moving averages, 20, 50, 100, 200 day again, over this rising 50 day. And what you'll see is similar to what we saw in the NVIDIA chart is the support level for gold right now for GLD, 180. So we can see 181 here. 180, 184, 183. So that 180 level uh, is a key support line. And we've got the 50 day now coming up through that first support level. So whenever I see the 50 day come up through the support line, to me, that, that's a, a double support level. So we can also see volume is very high on the upside coming in this week. And, and gold, the, the metal itself is very close to a new all-time high. GLD is very close to a new all-time high. And it's got two support levels. If there was any pullbacks, because I always anticipate pullbacks, I'd like to see the 50 and or this 100-day hold. But for my time frame, this is set up very well. And I do have a position in GLD. So next, we're going to move into... The healthcare sector, because I, I want to be sure that I, I focus on uh, all the markets that are working so that we don't miss any opportunities. So Merck obviously is a, a mega cap leader in healthcare, $300 billion micro, uh, market cap. And if we start with the chart structure, we're going to see this is going to be four for four now, upper right hand corner, four rising moving averages. Recently pulled back with, with the healthcare sector, 102 to 104 uh, was the level that held. But what we've seen with these healthcare stocks, and you'll see this in quite a few, is as the regional banking uh, issues started to unfold, the markets moved into lower volatility, uh, defensive sectors to a degree. So Merck is lower volatility, it's defensive in healthcare. And we can see since the regional banks started to, to have their issues, Merck has been pretty much straight up. It tested a, a new all-time high earlier this week. It's just pulling back over support. And just by looking at this chart, it's got a very nice support range, anywhere from 108 to 114 for any shorter term pullbacks, but trending higher. We can see there's been some nice upside volume coming in on the up days and just a nice uptrend overall uh, in healthcare. So chart number five is, this is the only one that I think is maybe a little bit extended right here. So Ferrari uh, in consumer discretionary, luxury automobiles. So Ferrari is another stock, all of the above stocks have been on our uh, website best ideas focus list for, for multiple weeks, a lot of them for most of the year. And Ferrari is another one. This was our, our chart of the day, best idea for our subscribers about six weeks ago. And we're going to see, once again now, different sector. We've looked at tech, we've looked at gold, we've looked at healthcare, and now we're gonna take a look at consumer discretionary. Same chart structure, upper right-hand corner uptrend over four 
rising moving averages. And it broke out yesterday on earnings on very high volume. But if we just take a look at the at the volume and the trend, so the first thing, the red line on my screen is the rising 50-day moving average. It pulled back and it held in March. It pulled back and it held in late December. And it's been over that 50-day for quite a while. So that's why I say I, I do believe that these rising moving averages can provide trend support. So set up well here. We've got support anywhere from 260 to 270. We can see a nice support base. Rising 50-day is coming right up to that 270 level. Broke out here now. Now, this at this point, this would not be the ideal entry point for me. Does not mean that it can't go higher because we've seen quite often stocks will break out on earnings and then start to move higher. But it, it set up well here, especially on any pullback. Maybe if there was a little pullback into this range, I might rank it a little bit higher. But one of my favorite uptrends overall. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the charts. And we look forward to seeing you online soon. Have a great day.